own accord. Um, but when they originally got this out, uh, he was charged with an act actually charged with a cyber stalking charge, which go drives right into the heart of you know why it's so important that people do not dox people. Believe me, uh, you know nobody wants to understand the implications. Um, of what you're doing. If you post somebody's address and one of your followers living near decides to go over to that house and injure somebody, you are responsible. You will be charged in that crime, especially if somebody dies. So I am asking all creators to be more responsible and even at the audience you know you can't play in that pond either you can't not you know, be a creator and go dox people and and think it's okay it's not okay whether you're a creator or a spectator just stop it's not that serious this is youtube okay i know people are so obsessed with youtube and think this is an interactive you know, drama fest and, you know, this is all fake. It's not. These are real people's lives. That you're meddling with and you're screwing with. Real people. This is not a character. on a soap opera. This, I am not a character on a soap opera. This is not who can sink that battleship. Okay, I'm a real, live, breathing person. That has safety concerns. and have addressed those safety concerns. Not only with YouTube, but with others. That can help. So this is the good faith uh, settlement negotiations that she came up with uh, kind of at the last minute uh, when she decided that she did not want to go to court. I have redacted everything. So here is the case number for that. This is the case number for the civil case. 
I will put that um, on the screen later with a lot bigger so you can see it. But this was February 22nd, 2022. This was the day, um, this is like right after uh, the criminal case was dismissed. And she goes on and on. She says, I would like to work in entering a good faith settlement agreement with your client to resolve all disputes resulting from the future civil actions I have against your client. And um, she talks about uh, harassment and cyberbullying and blah, blah, blah. But all of those things were already taken care of in the criminal case. Like I said, it was dismissed. Here's the interesting thing. So if you go further down, all of a sudden she starts naming my name. And I was like, oh, oh, really? And she says, the defendant shall provide me the name and contact information for his friend and partner of his crude AF channel, Burnt Toast, or she shall be enjoined to this settlement agreement. Any violation of this agreement will be subject to monetary pen penalties in the amount of $500 for each violation under the settlement agreement. Here's the thing. That part was also thrown out because she cannot be adding random people to a settlement agreement that she didn't originally try to sue. She also can't use the court to extort someone out of somebody else's information. By the way, Betty, uh, Crude AF doesn't know my information. So even if you had tried to sue him, he doesn't have that information. Just FYI. OK, so as you can see, there's a lot more to this bullshit that she's trying to do with me right now than what meets the eye. OK, so then uh, she goes, I realize this persona bird toast will have to also agree to the terms of the agreement as well. And let me see. And here's the second um, page. I also redacted her last name because unlike her, I don't dox people. She says, if Burnt Toast chooses not to also agree to this settlement agreement, she shall provide me her name and contact information within two business days of the receipt of a fully executed settlement agreement. Again, not legal. You can't do this. But she's the paralegal, right? Like this right here, you can't do that, which is why the court didn't enforce it. And people just kind of rolled their eyes and was like, oh, you can't add someone in there at the last minute. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And so then she goes, uh, once an agreement has been finalized, I will not be seeking the monetary damages in small claims. So here she goes that she's not going to want to go to court because she would rather settle. And then she calls me. She says, Burnt Toast is a co-defendant, co-dependent. I'm sorry, I totally butchered that. Burnt Toast is a co-defendant and or witness to multiple cases of action. I have and feel this is the best way to handle this entire matter. Again, you cannot add a random person to your defendant list at the last minute. 